Do you really know all those dames, Romeo? Did I know them? They're all signed, ain't they? It's a good thing they got you locked up in a chain gang. Cleanliness is next to godliness. What a man. So the ladies have told me. How many, how many women were you really married to at the same time? How many banks did you really rob? Well, never more than one at the same time. It takes a lot of nerve to rob a bank. It takes a lot of backbone to keep three wives happy. Yay, brother. I get ten men left on the job. Don't worry, you'll get plenty of work done. Now, you don't understand. I underbid my nearest competitor by nearly half to get this contract. And it stands to reason I gotta get twice as much work out of my convict labor. You're doing all right. Yeah. You'll eat anything, won't you? I'll eat anything that don't bite me first. needs a good tonic. Take him down to the hospital and give him the best we got. Come on, down the hospital. Hey, 
there, you baboon. Don't you better leave them mules out in the sun? Yes, sir, boys, yes, sir. Mules cost $400 a head, and convicts don't cost nothing. Come on, then. Come on, get your foot in there. Well, young fellow, you won't catch cold in that sweat box. That's him. That's Clark. Pretty smart hiding out on the road, gang, when he's wanted for murder. Pretty smart if you ask me. Let's go down and see Skinner. Walkie. Let me see your hand. There is blood on it. What are you driving at? Murder. Come on, Clark. We want you for murder. Matthew? How'd you know that man had committed murder? Everything is written in the stars. Well, why didn't you tell us? Whosoever betrayeth his brother is in danger of brimstone and stomach trouble. Oh, uh, if I was having some kind of grief, could you put me on the right track? Why, of course I could. Well, this thing that's got me worried is, uh, well, kind of personal, you know. Brother, even my eyes are not equipped to divine the stars when the sun is shining. I can only read them at night. Oh. Well, I'll see you tonight. Oh, Mr. Skinner. What's the matter, Burgess? I'm sorry, but one of the spoons are missing. Oh, yeah? Well, that's all right. Today at noon, they don't get any spoons to eat with. Make them soup and make it thin. Oh, you're smart, Mr. Skinner. You surely smart. Oh, Mr. Skinner. Strangled to death in the sweat box. The contractor says the boy committed suicide. Carter's dead. 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 
Carter's dead. Where's Carter? Yeah, where is Carter? You can't strangle all of us, so you're going to starve us. Is that the idea? Give us some spoons. 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 One of you mugs has got a spoon. You leak with your fingers till you find it. You'll find it someday, sticking in the middle of your back. Who said that? Don't you know I'm losing money all the time these men aren't at work? That's discipline. Discipline my eye. They like it. Listen to them, laughing and howling their heads off. I'm gonna stop them till I get that spoon back. If I let them get away with this, they'll get away with something else. Yeah, in the meantime, who's gonna build the road? Without discipline, you'll never get it built. The county hired me to discipline them. Yeah, the county hired you, but I'm paying your salary. I know, Billy. Now, don't worry. I'll get twice as much out of them from now on. Well, I wouldn't want the prison inspectors to put the kibosh in the camp before the road is finished, and we haven't got much time. It's a cinch they can't get any work done with us guys locked up. Keep the joint hot. They'll have to ask us how they're going to get the road finished. You're talking, boy. Keep the bulls running around. Let's bust up all the pickhands. That's the idea. And start a lot of fights. What is I advise? Passive resistance. Oh, passive, my eye. Duke's got the right idea. Let's keep the joint hot. No food, no work. 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 In here, dog. Whiteside. You're going up to the Liberty Road camp. Your job's to find out the truth about the way the Carter boy died. Yes, Commissioner. Remember, we don't want to go off half cocked. Take your time. Get all the facts. Understand all the facts. I understand, Commissioner. Say, what are you pinched for? Steal all that pencils off a school kid? Is that so? Well, I was convicted by a judge and 12 jurors for assault with a deadly weapon. Well, you're a tough guy, hey? Think I'm tough? Well, you meet my brother. Is he older or younger than you are? He's older, of course. Yeah, and his name's Duke Ellis. Duke? You said a mouthful. He's no creeper. Do you know him? No, him. And we're not gonna fall together. Oh, no. Look what I got. What are you gonna do with it, socket guard? What do you care? Hey, that's mine. That's Oh, 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 What would happen if they ran the bull chain through this fake leg iron? Why, they would think you were locked up. Listen, Matthew. 
Tonight I'm going to tear for it. But, comrade, even if you are free of the bull chain, there still remains that iron door to pass. That's why I'm talking to you. Popeye fell for that star-reading bunk of yours. Get him to open that door so you can read the stars to him. Tell him he's going to lose a lot of money. Tell him his wife's cheating on him. Tell him anything. But keep his eyes on the stars. I got you, Duke. I will be done. Tonight. Yeah, I don't know how they get through those little holes. discipline that makes comics work. Well, I don't care how it's done. I want to get this road finished ahead of schedule. And don't forget, you're getting yours. I can't tell a thing without seeing the stars. And I can't see them from here. Well, and no harm letting you out for a minute and keep your mouth shut. If you do not think I can be trusted, please do not annoy me. I'll be back in a few minutes. There's something ominous in the stars tonight, Captain. Please put me back in my cage. I, I don't want anything to do with this. What do you mean? There is blood on the stars. I don't want blood on my hands. What are you talking about? Please put me back. Thank you. 
Johnny. Hello, Duke. What are you doing in here? Oh, I took a shot at the guy that squealed on you. You hit him? No, I missed him. How much did you get? One to five. Hey, little fool, why didn't you stick to your job? Oh, gee, Duke, I, I told you to take care of Ma. Gee, kid, he's going over the hill. I hope he makes it. I can't stop Duke. You mean my wife? Then you do know. Your heart has told you. Even now, tonight it is happening. They are embracing even as the darkness embraces the stars. Why didn't you go? the clock and all's well. Last night, two convicts escaped and murdered a guard's wife. This morning, they're back. I'm going to pick a detail to bury them. Oh, 
Johnny, if it hadn't been for you, I'd have been riding in that wagon? Oh, no, Duke. You're too smart for that. <laughs> what do you know about this, Duke? What do you know about these, Popeye? When's the funeral? Tomorrow. Right, it was a no good woman. Most everybody knows. Made her man pay sixty dollars a month for the making of her clothes. I'm surprised you don't have the funeral today, Mr. Whiteside. Oh, I do. It's so sad. I'm afraid you have a morbid complex, Burgess. Oh, Mr. Whiteside. You know, once I went to a funeral, and the casket was all covered with a great big blanket of pansies. Mr. Whiteside, every one of them was that big. Off I went down to the blind house. He knocked and he rang the doorbell. Did you go for that? Don't think me, huh? Oh, boy. Give me that picture. Not that suitcase. I need her in my stable. Hello, that bike. Get back to work. and then jump the guard. Oh. Well, take him down to the hospital and sweat it out of him. Come on, get out. Don't you think there's a danger of these men blowing up? Why? Too much pressure. 
You've allowed that contractor to hire a lot of local roughnecks for guards whose idea in handling men is treating them like a lot of mules. Billings and I are running this camp. Yeah, but you can't go on running it in violation of the state laws that were passed to stop just that sort of abuse. I don't believe in coddling prisoners. Then what's it to you? Did you hear what they did to your brother? No. Well, they've had him all this time down in the sweat box. Take me down to the slaughter pen. What are you talking about? You can't afford to argue with me, Popeye. Let's go. Isn't that Duke Ellis? Open this thing or I'll kick it to pieces. Open it! The idea. The kid's his brother. Oh, you don't say so. Take him out of this thing. Hi, right, what makes you so excited, Duke? You killed one kid in here. You feel bad, don't you, Duke? Your kid brother's yellow. He hasn't got the guts to be an upstanding criminal like yourself. Just thing will make a criminal out of him, all right. Take him out. Who's running this stir? You'll never run it if you don't take him out. What do you mean by that crack? What do you think? Oh, you're going to keep the heat on. What happened the day you killed Carter is nothing compared to what I'll do. Take him out! What would you say if I took the kid out and gave him a nice, soft job in the office? Come on, Duke. I know what you want, and you know what I want. With your influence with the men, you can help me get this road finished on time. Okay. Take him out. You come through to the big boss, eh? You made them feel pretty good, huh? Oh, don't rap to me. That's right. The only ones you talk to these days are the screws, huh? It's against the law to hit anybody who wears glasses, Maxie. And I wouldn't break the law. That's right. I'll take them off. Now hit me. Come on and hit me, you well, big Ah, you can't see that. You can't, huh? You big can't come in. Shoved him into you. What are you gonna do about it? Hey, where's my glasses? Hey, 
Here your glasses, Maxie. I thought you were the guy that was going to keep this joint quiet. Nobody ever gave you a good licking, did it? No, but I can take it. Well, you're going to. All right, come on. Picking him up there. Eh? Mr. Whiteside. Hey, kid. What's on your mind? I want to go back to work on the road. Are you going off your nut? No, I mean it. What makes you think that slinging a pick is better than bookkeeping? All these guys think I'm a fink because I work in the office. And they think Duke turned stool pigeon to get me the job. Oh, what if they do? What do you care what they think? Are you going to throw your brother down in the biggest thing he ever did? If you please, I, I'd like to see my sons. Frank and Johnny Ellis. Sit down over there. Thank you. Send Duke Ellis and his brother over, will you? Son, have you been reading your Bible every day? Yes, Mother. Every day. Oh, here comes my handyman. Hello, baby. You ain't tired, is you? Sweetheart, you don't know how tired a man does get when he don't get no loving. Johnny? Yeah, I've heard all about you. What are you chasing after Johnny for? Why, I'm not chasing him. Just came up here to see him. That's what I mean. You realize that 99 out of every 100 men steal for some dame and keep on stealing for her? I don't want to see Johnny get hooked for anyone. I don't want to see him go through what the rest of these mugs have gone through. Johnny don't have to steal for me. He wouldn't anyway. He's no thief. The only thing that's wrong with Johnny is that he thinks you're something wonderful. Well, you got some spunk anyway. Something in your favor. Oh, she's a sweet little thing. She's a good cook, too. Ah, <laughs> oh, they don't come any finer. Where's Johnny? Oh, he'll be here in a minute. He's got a swell job now. Yeah, yeah in the office. <laughs> yeah, he's probably getting all shined up for you. <laughs> My boy. Oh, come on, Mom. I don't want you crying in front of these guys. I think I'm a kidder. <laughs> No, Johnny. You're a man now. Your man's got two men. No. Don't I get any notice, Johnny? Gosh, it was swell of you to come up here to see me. Oh, I didn't come up to see you. I just came up with your mother to keep her company. Well, that's something, anyhow. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you're the kind of a ball and chain he needs the rest of his life. <laughs> I told you Duke was swell. 
crank. In the minute, Johnny could walk. He wanted to follow you in everything. He worshipped the ground you walked on. He's your boy now. Yes, it's up to you. He'll only be what you'll be. That one for you, if you want, Mr. Whiteside. No, never mind. This is all done. Looks like your brother's been very busy. How much will he have to do? This being his fourth conviction makes him habitual. That means life. Oh, no. Sorry, kid. That's the law. Life. bad, Johnny, but there's nothing we can do about it.
Duke, Duke, come on, wake up. Here's a gun. You gotta make a break for it. What the? Come on, snap out of it. A holdover warrant from Michigan just came in. They say you're a fourth offender. It means life. Take that gun back where you got it. I'll make my own getaway when it's time. I'm not gonna have you do an extra five years on my account. What do I care about five years? You've got life to do in Michigan. Now, come on, do as I tell you. Take that gun back. Come on, show up your hands. Show them up now, keep them up. Now, go ahead, he's screwing up to shoot. Come on now, open it up. Come on, now. keep it on, Max. <laughs> You only got three months to go. Stay here. There's that spook you've been looking for. Get him up. office break. We'll get there as soon as we can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
What did you do that for? As soon as it gets dark, we're going to split up. We got a better chance of getting through. Can I get with you? Nobody. I'm going alone. Taking it where there's a doctor and some medicine. Don't forget Ma and Mary Ellen are waiting for you. Take a shot at me. I've been shot a couple of times, Johnny. Doesn't even hurt. You know, Duke, I didn't feel the shot. I just felt a little sting. Sure, kid. Makes you kind of weak, though. What are you doing, you big sucker? Don't you know any better than that around here? Do you think we want to get caught? I'm going to get away from myself out of here. Thank you very much. Duke, remember when we used to steal flowers from the cemetery and bring them home tomorrow? Put him up! Put him up! Put him up, Rob! 
I'll show it. Put him up. Put him up. My goose was cooked in this fire, but I'll get some satisfaction out of seeing the ringleaders hang. They caught the Ellis boys. Yeah. The Sheriff, I want both brothers held for murder. You can't hang this on, Johnny. I made him come back with me. You understand me, Sheriff? I want Johnny Ellis held for murder. He's one of the ringleaders. Not this boy, Billings. Don't waste just sympathy on a killer. Why, this boy saved every guard in camp from being burned to death. Well, what's the use of prosecuting a boy, Billings, with Whiteside giving him a clean bill of health? Duke. Duke. Let me talk to my brother, will you? Here I am, kid. Here I am, Johnny. Oh, gee, Duke. Why'd you bring me back? Ah, uh, don't be a chump, Johnny. You had to be taken care of, didn't you? But look at the stretch they make you do. I got away once, didn't I? All I care about is what happens to you. And I'd feel great, Johnny, no matter where I am, if I'd known that you're taking care of Ma the way she wants, and Mary Ellen, too. Sure, I will. You know me, Duke. Is that a promise, kid? You bet. And you do whatever Whiteside tells you to. Don't you worry about me, Johnny. I never worry about you, Duke. All right. Take the boy down to the hospital. I'd consider it a personal favor, Doc, if you'd go along with the kid and kind of look after him till he gets to the hospital. <laughs> 